Honor started its global comeback with the Honor 50, a very good mid-range device. And now with the second generation, the Honor 70, it tries to be a little bit as a premium mid-range device. I have the Honor 70 here already and want to take a look at this brand new device. So let's get started. So here we have the device and the packaging, which didn't change much. It's still the same white packaging. It's just like they changed the 50 to a 70 here, but you can see it's a thick one. So we have some stuff inside. So let's uh, start opening it up here. We can see the smartphone already. Let's put it aside and let's check out what the other accessories are. Oh, we see the SIM eject tool already. So we have a SIM eject tool here. Probably find some paperwork and I have a TPU case here as well. You can see a little bit of an indication of the design. And we have some other stuff here like a USB C to A cable that is wrapped in this foil. I'm not sure if in your retail package you will get the same thing. Like I said, it's an early production model that I have here. So we have uh, like this orange indicator here that indicates, okay, it's a 66 watt charger probably also inside here. Let's get rid of it. And yes, it's a 66 watt charger. So we have premium fast charging here on the Honor 70. Let's take a look at the device itself. So we have to unwrap it out of this um, case for this. And let's get rid of the email number here and the other indicators. Uh, not for sale, of course, because I have a pre-production model. And here you can see the glorious device, the Honor 70. Look how beautiful it looks like. I'm not even sure what kind of color this one is. Maybe it's written here somewhere. It doesn't even state what color it is. So yeah, but this is the color that you can see here shimmering. And uh, it is not glossy. So fingerprint, fingerprints are not sticking to it, which is nice. So here on the back, we have the main camera, 50 megapixels, uh, 54 megapixels. Actually, it's written here, 54 megapixels IMAX 800 sensor with one over 1.49 inch size. Very, very large sensor. And we have a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle as well as a two megapixel depth sensor here. So those are the highlights of this phone together with the 32 megapixel front facing camera that is housed here on the front. The display has 6.67 inch. It's an OLED screen with 120 hertz refresh rate. And I think the uh, camera cutout is pretty pretty small you can see we have like a protection foil like a screen protector already on it this is why you see some smudges here and a curved screen that goes here to the edge you can see how small how thin and light this feels like it's pretty pretty cool and awesome as thin and light as the honor 50 i really like that they kept this form factor then we have uh, usb-c we have a loudspeaker on the bottom we have the uh, nano sim dual sim support here as well and we have i think what could be another microphone here on the top maybe infrared blaster i'm not so sure about this one here yeah and then we have the power button here and we have a volume rocker there you can see it's nicely curved and done and of course we have android here running android 12 based on magic ui or android 12 and magic ui 6.1 on top with all the google glory inside which is also pretty cool and here you can see magic ui 6 the boot animation and let's get started of course we have the usual possibility to set up a fingerprint id or face recognition uh, that protects the device the fingerprint reader is a typical optical one so it's not an ultrasonic one so i have to type in multiple times or have to put in my finger multiple times or tap on it multiple times to register let's take a look at the gorgeous 6.67 inch sized screen that has a nice uh, 1900 uh, pvm a dimming technology and it looks gorgeous as you can see here 120 hertz oled screen hdr10 support for everything that you want to have and very very brilliant also no color shift when you go to the left or the right or in extreme angles 
you can see it is keeping its colors which is pretty pretty handy indeed a very good oled screen reminds me a bit of the magic 4 series where they're also using a very good oled screen when it comes to gaming 300 hertz touch sampling rate is helping a lot here as well with the gaming and you have wonderful options here to shoot your enemies and win the game and here we have the device itself with all the software installed so what you can see we have an on our app market installed but we have also the play store here I'm not sure this app market will be available here globally as well but it reminds me a little bit of the huawei app market so they have their own app store here we have the calendar of google D google services here as well we have enlarged folders we have yeah all the google applications a little bit less than usual so this is good not so much bloatware you have the honor store honor club game center system manager files email notepad and that's it so now netflix or any other bloatware installed which i really really like and uh, this is uh, the, yeah, the new version of Magic UI. So let's go in here and take a look at software updates. Magic UI 6.10. And this is the current number. Probably you get a newer number. And probably also it's checking for updates. Maybe I get a software update as well. But this is yeah the version that I have here currently for testing. Let's get the specs out of the way. So here we have the specs of the device itself for running Magic UI 6.1, Android 12 based, Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G plus 8GB of RAM plus 2GB of Honor RAM Turbo. We have 20GB of uh, storage space free by default of the 256GB that we have installed here. We have 2400 by 1080p screen resolution and the security patches are May and January. Um, probably you will get a newer version. As I said, it's a pre-production model that I have here. So yeah, this will be updated for sure. There are several cool new features of Magic UI 6 and some of them I showed you already. Like for example, you have the possibility to enlarge folders to just directly launch applications without going into a folder. But you can see I have still the ability to go into the folder because I have more apps here. So this is a nice way to do it. But there's more. In Magic UI 6 we have the option to swipe upon uh, certain applications that have like an indicator underneath so if i swap up here i get like a widget that i can use for directly going into the application uh, jump to a specific note or text and so on so this is pretty cool as you can see here i can see my last image can jump right into the image if i want to and have this also as a widget brand new is the jojo suggestions which is a new yeah, AI powered application manager. I think in China they're also using this for AI voice input, but here we still have the Google Assistant in the global version. But the JoJo suggestions allows you to see yeah, your most used application. So you have one folder here, it looks like a folder at least, which is not a folder. It's just showing you the most used applications, just like for example, the weather application that apparently I used most or at least Jojo thinks I used most and yeah I have the possibility to jump into this weather application here or I can go to YouTube studio or music in this case and uh, yeah this is a nice cool feature uh, for sure and I have more features that I can just simply by uh, swiping here and just going to cards add as you can see here we have various different cards here for example i can add a weather card if i want to so this is magic ui 6.1 some of the features changed i think some of the features are coming with magic ui 6 also for previous devices but it's cool to see here some cool new features on magic ui uh, 6.1 on the honor 70. The screen can refresh in 120 and 60 hertz. You have a dynamic option which will switch automatically between 120 and 60. Otherwise, you can switch to high or standard mode to preserve a little bit of battery life. Otherwise, the screen is an OLED screen, so you can also go to a dark mode here pretty easily. It is very dark and preserves also a little bit of battery life. And you have also an automatic switch that you can enable for it automatically switch from dark from sunset to sunrise. And you have dark mode settings here as well. Darken the wallpaper in dark mode as well, which is a pretty handy feature. 
When it comes to sound quality, we only sadly have a bottom firing speaker, not just like the Chinese model, the Pro model at least, that has uh, dual speakers. So we have uh, no earpiece that is, uh, yeah, setting some sound here. It's just the bottom firing speaker and it's a bit tinny, I would say. Let's talk a little bit about the camera. So we have the camera application, which is nice and clean here. I still don't like that it's on the bottom here to switch between various different modes. And uh, when we are in video mode here right now, I can show you that you can record up to 4K 30 frames per second. And uh, of course you can also go, if you want 60 frames per second, you can go to 1080p, then you have 60 frames per second here. This is, I think, a limitation of the Snapdragon 778G Plus processor that is used in here. When I record in, let's say, let's record in 4K, what I can do is, of course, switch between the lenses. So I'm recording here, I can just go to the ultra wide angle, or I can even zoom in a little bit, which is cropping in six times to the main sensor. So this is working fine. I will show you a video sample right now. So this is now recording with the Honor 70 and the front-facing camera and what you notice immediately is uh, we only have 1080p 30 here. So no 4K sadly on the front-facing camera even though it has 32 megapixels which is a bit of a weak point. How's the audio quality here? I'm using the internal microphone but I will also try to use my external microphone in the back camera sample. So let's take a look at this. This is now recording with the back facing camera, the 54 megapixel IMX 800 sensor. How's the background bokeh? I think it should be nice and fine. How's audio quality? I have my external microphone plugged in and it should work fine as well. And I have the possibility to switch even when I'm recording at 4K 30 to the ultra wide angle. So let's switch to the ultra wide angle. And this is a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle, also a fairly large sized sensor as well but not as large as the main sensor, of course. But for vlogging, I think this might be the ideal candidate as it has like this ultra field of view and probably my hand might be in the shot as well. What do you think about this uh, ultra wide angle here on the Honor 70? And of course, we have also multi-video function here on the Honor 70. So you can see the front-facing camera and the back-facing camera. And I think both should be stabilized pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, you have the possibility to switch to various different modes. Like, for example, I can switch here to zoom and the ultra-wide angle. And I also can go here to one times if I want to. Or even five times zooming in so you can see what's going on on the other side of the Rhine, of the river. Yeah which is pretty fine. I have some other modes, just like for example, I can switch to the rear camera here and show you the rear camera only, which is like the one time zoom lens. And while I'm recording, I can also say, now I want to switch to the front facing camera. And now I'm switching to the front facing camera. The aspect ratio of this multi video is a bit of weird or different. It's not 16 by nine. I think it's using the whole screen for some reason, but yeah, it is a nice, interesting feature. And when I want to show you something like this here, someone with rollerblades passing by, I can do so very easily. So a nice feature, I would say. What do you think about this feature on the Honor 70? And there's another cool new feature, which is close up video mode on the Honor 90, which allows you to record like a full scene, but also focus your attention with another camera on a person, just like me, for example, even if I walk around a little bit, the second video will track me and will record me. And this all together combined with the possibility to use your earphones as wireless microphones might be a very cool vlogging solution. What do you think about this one here? I don't know the price yet of this Honor 70, but if it's close to what the Honor 50 cost, this might be a worthy upgrade as a premium mid-range device. The only thing, the only downsides of it is that it still doesn't have stereo speakers and still a front-facing camera that cannot record 4K 30. 
but on the other hand even some flagships cannot do this nowadays so what do you think about this honor 70 i think it's a very stylish thin device i really enjoyed my first experience with this one here especially the camera system and the new features there i really really like it i think it might be a very good vlogging device it is lightweight it doesn't have this fingerprint magnet as the previous version had and i really like their camera system now with a very good ultra wide and a very very good main camera lens and all those features for vloggers for videographers are really really handy features that i really like on top of google support and all the greatness of the new magic ui 6 that is a welcome upgrade to the older version that was still available on the honor 50 what do you think about the honor 70 write it down in the comment section that is everything for this first impressions uh, video from me and until the next time bye